Welcome to the Potter Blog site, October 24th, 2013. Uh, the USDA appears to be mobilizing its National Animal Health Emergency Response Corps. Uh, they've just released or just pushed down to the local level multiple job opportunities for veterinarians and vet techs. Uh, this happened just in coincidence with the October outbreak of uh, H7N9 in China. Uh, who these people are, their emergency preparedness and response uh, organization, uh, part of the USDA. They're sort of an on-call on group. We'll get into more of that in a second, but what these people basically do is, is they're responsible for going out uh, to the, all the flocks of birds and uh, testing and killing whichever flocks that they, they need to kill. Uh, here's a, uh, a mobile modified atmosphere killing chamber that was uh, ordered recently. They ordered 12 of these. Uh, now you won't see this start happening until after the last Thanksgiving turkey is sold, but uh, that's what these vehicles look like. Now what's interesting about this or what, what caught our attention is that all of a sudden there's just there are literally six pages worth of job openings on U.S. Uh, FedGov USA Jobs uh, for these positions. And basically, what they've done is, is uh, every once in a while they'll have a opening on the national level that they'll just leave open for people to apply to. But in the last month, and if you can see here through our search. Uh, parameters October 1st through October 31st 2013 uh, they've pushed these job openings down to buku cities in the United States many of them on army bases uh, Cleveland Ohio Fort Bragg uh, Los Angeles now uh, here are the listings for uh, Los Angeles let me zoom this up a little bit and you can see what specifically they're hiring uh, here an animal health technician now here's the note this is a temporary position only to be filled in the event of an emergency. And we'll show you that more in a minute. And they're also hiring uh, veterinary medical officers. And let's go look first on the technician here. Animal Plant and Health Inspection Service. Temporary position not to exceed one year. Many vacancies. USDA nationwide. Let's zoom in a little closer on that. And here's the key thing. This is a temporary position only to be filled in the event of an emergency. Please see below for more information. It says the NAHERC assists in the federal response to domestic and international animal disease outbreaks, threats, or national disasters. And this is the vet tech one. Now here's the one for uh, the veterinarians themselves. Uh, same thing. Uh, this one doesn't specify that it is only in the event of the emergencies. But one might make that assumption. Uh, again, many vacancies. Temporary, not to exceed one year. So why are they doing this? Well, they have to spool up for uh, this recent outbreak of H7N9 in, uh, in China, and then it might come here to the uh, United States. Uh, there's been an, actually an incredible amount of mobilization from our government in response to H7N9, uh, from uh, creating a 211 national triage phone line for people to call in and get uh, basically uh, prescriptions at home without leaving your house, to uh, setting up the emergency broadcast system so they can do live HD broadcasts directly from the CDC out to uh, alert people. Uh, they've got ordered over 600 million, 600 million needles and syringes to give every person in the country two doses of this experimental adjuvant-laid vaccine that they're trying to develop for each seven to nine. Just a truly massive amount of uh, effort going into it. But when they start looking at hiring people, and you have all these jobs, six pages worth, where they push these advertisements down into every to a multitude of cities. Uh, they're really upping the preparation level here. Be aware.